After the brief introduction into application of remote sensing in agriculture, a case study of Kenya, we shall now look at the various user cases which demonstrate the processing of this data. We shall begin by downloading of the Sentinel-1 data from the European Space Agency website before pre-processing this data using the SNAP software. Finally, we shall analyze this data using the QGIS and the R statistic softwares. To access the Sentinel-1 images, we shall go to the European Space Agency website and log into it. Put in your login credentials, and if you don't have an account, then you have to sign up in order to access the data. Once you're logged in, you zoom into your area of interest. Once you're zoomed in, you draw a polygon to highlight the area in order to reduce the number of images that are selected. After that, go to the selection criteria. We will sort by the sensing date. And then for the sensing period, remember from our lecture, we had said that the cropping period starts in March and ends in September. And we are considering two years, that's 2015 and 2016. So in the sensing period, we shall begin with the year of 2015. We shall select 2015 from our selection. And the month is at the start of the cropping season, which is in March. So we select the 1st of March, 2015. And then for the end of the cropping season, the season runs until September. So we go again to 2015. and select the month of September, and then we can put the end of September. From there, we go to the mission of Sentinel-1. The product you'd like to download is a side-looking complex image. From there, you hit the search button. A list of all the available images, Sentinel-1 images will be generated. And so when you highlight on any of them, it shows you the footpath of the image. So what you need to do is to select the images, images that you'd like and add them to the cut. Once you're through with adding to the cut, you can go to your cut on the left and download all the images that, that you had selected. Repeat the same for the year 2016, and then save your images in, one, in your working folder. Once you're finished, then you can log out of the website.